Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What's going on guys? Welcome to Amigos Code. In this video, I want to talk to you about the best tips for anyone starting a career in software development, whether you are a self-taught developer or you are going to university or if you just started your career or you just want to switch jobs. So this list initially was about 20 uh, tips, but I felt like I needed to make this video so specific so that you gain the most out of it. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and also give me a thumbs up so I can keep on recording these videos. Without further ado, let me kick off this video with the best advice, which I feel you should take from this video. Tip number one is to believe in yourself. Throughout my career, I've met a lot of people that either have dropped out of university or quit their boot camps because they couldn't cope with the amount of things that they had to learn. And it just came down to the fact that they didn't believe that they could do it. Either they thought that learning how to code would have been quick and easy and just get a good job and get paid lots of money. But in reality, it's not like that. So one thing that you should take from this video is that you are smart enough. You are smart enough. And what I want to plant in your mind is that you should see it in order to believe it. So a lot of people think that, you know, if they believe they can see, but it should be the way around. If you see it, you immediately believe it, right? So what is your why? Why do you want a new job? Is it because you don't like your job or you are tired of your job and you can't do it anymore or you just want to make more money or simply it's because you feel like it's something that you love and you have some kind of passion for it. So just make sure that your why is really strong enough. And one thing that I can tell you is that you are smart enough and you can do it. If you go through struggles, don't you worry. It's all part of the process. I can tell you from experience that if I had quit, which I, you know, I want it really, right? Because everything was new and things didn't make sense at the beginning. And, you know, I felt like, do you know what? I want to quit. But there was something in me that told me to keep on pushing, keep on pushing. And just imagine if I did give up, right? I wouldn't be here talking to you, giving you advice. And in order for you to believe in yourself, you have to keep a positive mindset. You see, when it comes to learn how to code, it's not something that you will learn in one week, two weeks, three weeks, five weeks, it's a lie, right? So all of these boot camps, they make it seem super easy that you just go and learn how to code and then get a job. But in reality, to be a good software engineer, it takes time for you to understand how the overall picture fits together. It's a journey that will take time. Think of it as a marathon, right? It's a long marathon instead of being a sprint. And that way, in your mind, you know that it's a journey. If things are difficult, I'm just going to keep a positive mindset and keep going. Literally, have a positive mindset and keep going. If you don't believe that you are quite capable, I hope that tip number one will give you the boost that you need. I've been there. I know what it takes. And one thing that I can tell you is that if you give up, you've missed the opportunity. If you give up, you've missed the opportunity. Before we move on to tip number two, let me go ahead and talk to you about today's sponsors. Kite is a plugin for IDEs and text editors that uses machine learning to optimize autocomplete suggestions while you write code. In my channel, I've been teaching you about IntelliJ, PyCharm, and all of these IDEs and I'm always telling you that you should let your IDE help you as much as possible. And with Kite, 
the suggestions that you get, they're ranked by relevance and not popularity. And one cool thing about Kite, which I really love, is that if you need access to documentation, it's already baked in, which means that if you want to find out how a method works, you can just use Kite right within your IDE instead of, for example, checking the docs or Stack Overflow. So they even give you examples using that exact same piece of code that you are about to use. Kite is available in 13 languages, 16 IDEs. Developers that use Kite code 18% faster and the best part of it, Kite is free. Go check them out. Link will be in the description of this video. Tip number two is do not compare yourself with other people. So you might sometimes compare yourself with someone that has two, three, four, seven, ten years of experience and you'll just think, wow, you know, they know a lot and I can't even fix this semicolon, right? If you compare yourself with other people, you're just going to demotivate yourself, right? You're just going to feel dumb and you don't want to break your momentum, right? So, you know, keep your momentum and know that eventually you will be good. So, you see, with programming, it's something that takes time. You're not going to be good at it from the very first day, as I mentioned, but with time, with time, you will improve. So practice makes improvements. Practice doesn't make it perfect. Just remember that. Tip number three, make sure that you read books. So a lot of people will say, right, you can become a software engineer by just, you know, watching some videos on YouTube and take some programming courses and that's it, right? But in order for you to fully understand and you know, sometimes you just need to take your time and go through a good book where you can read things on your own and understand them um, in your own way, right? Not, not everyone has the skills to teach programming. So having a book where it's been well written, it's a plus. For example, you might have learned Python and you've watched some videos. Now you want to basically just grasp, um, you know, certain concepts which you think you need to brush upon, right? And having a book, it's perfect, right? So it, just imagine before we didn't have Google, Stack Overflow, we didn't have none of that. It was just books, right? And, you know, if you look back, you know, there are so many good developers that they don't even watch tutorials or on YouTube or anything like that. You know, they just go through books. So books is really important. If you have learned a language, go and buy a book specific for that programming language. Also, one book that I'm going to recommend, and you saw this blue book, uh, which is on algorithms, which is something that you should really um, have some understanding, right? Because most of these technical interviews, it's around data structures, right? So this one right here. So I'm not saying that I should recommend you this book because I think it's quite old. So um, I've had this book for many years now, but basically uh, if I show you, so here you can see it goes through trees and then it, it gives you step by step how things work. And uh, yeah, having a book is so, so important. So one book that I was going to say, uh, or actually recommend is this one, Clean Code. So after you master a programming language or you know how this program programming language works, you know, functions, classes, inheritance, methods, and all of these basic concepts of any given programming language, then you should know how to write clean code. And this is what this book is all about things that you as a software engineer should avoid. So, you know, it's a very good book and I highly recommend you buy it. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. Tip number four is that you should find a mentor, find a mentor and join a community. So if you're not part of Amigos Code community, go ahead and join both Facebook and Discord. The group is full of people just like you learning how to code, whether you are a beginner, 
intermediate, advanced, senior, just join the group because we are always discussing programming topics and helping one another. But having a mentor, it's really important because you need guidance. If, for example, you have learned um, you know, the basics of a programming language, sometimes you might think, right, so um, where do I go next? How do I start applying for jobs? Am I ready? Because you don't know these things, right? So having someone with experience that you can talk to and explain your concerns, it's so, so valuable. So you can join Amigos Code community or there are even platforms where you can pay, for example, $20 an hour or $10 an hour and you can find mentors that will help you. So joining a community and having a mentor is super, super valuable. Number five, practice, 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 practice. So when, for example, you are stuck with a problem and you just Google for the solution, don't just take the code and paste. Don't just copy and paste the code, right? Because what you want is to learn. And also don't try to learn everything at once because otherwise you will get so overwhelmed and you'll realize that when it comes to programming, there are so many different areas and things that you should know. So don't try and learn the entire world. Just focus on one thing at a time, right? And it's okay for you to make mistakes as you go along because everyone has made mistakes. Everyone has made mistakes. And that's how you become good at something, by learning from your mistakes. Number six, make sure that you pick a roadmap. So this is where, for example, um, you can see, right, so if I wanna learn backend, what are the things that I should be learning, right? I need to learn databases, I need to learn um, how to write RESTful APIs, I need to learn some design patterns, I need to learn dependency injection, all of these things, right? So you need to have a roadmap. So I'm gonna leave a link on this awesome website called roadmap.sh and there, if you want to become a front-end developer, a back-end developer, you can see the entire roadmap and the things that you should be learning. And number seven, and the final one really, is that don't give up. It's one of the most important things. You shouldn't give up. If things become hard, just take breaks, like one or two days, come back again, and trust me, like, it's the worst thing that you can do to go through all the hassle and then just 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 give up. It's fine to give up if you realize that it's it's not for you, right? But providing that you have given your best because you don't want to regret. Literally, you don't want to regret. So these are the seven most valuable tips and advice that I can give to someone that's trying to go down the route of being a self-taught developer, or if you just go into a boot camp, or you've just started university, your first job, I just want to inspire you. Everything is possible. Just keep pushing, keep learning. Don't give up. Believe in yourself. It's all part of the journey. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this video. Give me a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't joined the private Facebook group and Discord, go ahead and join because we are waiting for you. This is all for now. Assalamu alaikum.